Hi there, Tofu Game again. So the game Poopy Playtime Chapter 3 has been released for two weeks. Have you tried playing it yet? This is a truly great play in its three parts. The game has brought us a series of new contexts, making the horrors of this part extremely different from other parts. Among them, which part are you most afraid of? Is that the part where the catnap comes to capture you, or is it the huggy wuggy that jumps out from the TV like in the movie The Ring? It's true that it's really scary, but for me, the fear comes from entering the house and walking down the hallway. Yes, that's when I felt the most shaky. I think I'm not the only one who feels that fear, and you know, it can be considered a fear of confined spaces, also known as claustrophobia. This is the most common of phobias that is typically categorized as an anxiety disorder. In previous versions, we also went into compressed space scenes, however, the cartoon graphic style and image quality were perhaps not realistic enough, making me think that it was still a larger space. However, in part 3, the graphics show a clear improvement, it makes the space more realistic, and makes the player feel scared. The atmosphere was clearly more tense. Even though you know there's no monster that's going to jump out of the darkness, grab you, and eat you in this dimension. Obviously so. However, a house space with many rooms is clearly a very familiar setting in horror movies. You may know the movie Insidious, a horror movie. The scene also appears red doors and a room with a very long lobby. And when playing this game, I can't stop thinking of that horror movie. It had to be one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. In the past year, there was also a game that successfully used the image of a room with many doors like this. That is the doors in Roblox. It is a horror game made for the popular gaming platform that will send you on a creepy and fascinating survival quest unfolding at a monster-filled hotel. The use of houses with many rooms in horror movies or a game is a deliberate choice to enhance the psychological impact of the film, creating an atmosphere of fear, unpredictability, and suspense. The architecture becomes an integral part of the storytelling, contributing to the overall sense of horror and an ease experienced by both characters and viewers. This could be an indication that a monster is coming. As an Asian who has never been to a European or American country, I always have a question in my mind, is there actual house that big and has so many rooms? Like in my family, a family of four people only has four main rooms, living room, kitchen, to bedrooms. The house space is only divided into a maximum of three parts like that. I know, play care is like a child care and research center. It would be billed like a hospital. But even the hospitals or hotels I've been to, they don't have such complicated structures like that. Have you played the game Granny yet? It's really a normal house in America? I don't think so. Forget this stupid question, I just want to say that the experience of walking in this area really drove me crazy and it made the hair on the back of my neck stand up even though I didn't have any problems moving around.
The moment the Huggy Wuggy popped out of the TV screen, I was very scared, but because I had spent an hour in the maze house, the appearance of a monster made my mind turn again. Should be less stressful, because even if Huggy caught me, I would be revived right after. Being afraid of being alone is even more terrifying than being hunted by a monster. Okay, so this is my feeling about the scene that fear me the most. How about you? What make you scary in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? Please leave the comment. And don't forget to subscribe my channel Tofu Game.